Hey guys, Jake up, Jake Team Insanity. Just got back from Long Wolf and now we're doing a Ask a Sunny thing. It is video. Saturday at 4 o'clock, so we do these videos on Saturdays or Fridays. And this is a segment where you can ask us anything. You can, doesn't have to be paintball related, but we will answer paintball related questions. That's usually what people ask. But yeah, anything, just comment first come, first serve. Let's do this. I NY Live Wire. If you could, if you care enough, who do you think is? Uh, if you care enough, who do you think is going to go all the way in the Stanley Cup Finals? If I Detroit. care enough, Detroit Red Wings, not really. Probably the Boston Bruins. I have to say, I think they're going to win the Stanley Cup. All right, HD Remix Gaming Road to 500 Team HD. <laughs> I'm starting a team looking for players, what should I do? Well, if first, you're... change the whole HDX gaming YouTube thing. That's probably, he's not, I don't know if you're using that as a YouTube channel, but yeah, if you do, come with more creative name. That's just a little bit. But uh, looking for players, blah, blah, blah. Um, when you're at your field, if you don't actually have a set amount of players, hey, um, if you want, hey, put up flyers. We did that one time. Yeah, not looking flyers. for players, put up flyers. Make friends with people. If Basically, they, they came to us. They knew that... Oh, there goes the bird. They, yeah. Doug and Pierre, we got Doug, Pierre, and Tusky. We kind of were just recruited Tusky. But we... Because Doug and Pierre Doug. were on a team called... Uh, team Lords of Chaos. Or no, no uh, Lord Chaos. Um, that was a big game. Fuck. Uh, something Palace or Paris oh. or something. Knights of Paris. Yeah, Pal Knights of Paris or Palace, Palace or something. And they wanted to join us because they Actually, wanted to Actually, they wanted to practice together. Then we decided, hey, well, let's Doug, band Doug together. told us, Doug was just like, hey, you want to get some matching jerseys with us and stuff? I'm like, sure. Let's just get our logo on it. He's like, all right, let's just be Team Insane and we'll join Team Insanity. So that's kind of how that went down. Um, but yeah. So just kind of make friends with people and start talking and get to know people. All right. Henry Fisher, I have around five hundred dollars to spend on a new marker. What do you think I should buy? Um, you know, I did a I did a a show on the whole five hundred dollar price range thing. I do like the rails and I do like the axes. Those are my top picks. You get a he got a DM twelve for four fifty. So. Yeah, I did. So, but that's not brand new. Yeah, Austin Pratt, rail or mini? Definitely go with the rail. All right, Zeph Fire Z. Uh, what are you guys' thoughts on Arts Chaos? They destroy teams in the challenge. Yeah, you division. know, I knew Art Chaos was going to be good, but yeah, they're they're a little bit better than I thought they were going to be. Yeah. Raymond Martin, you can read that. All right. Hey, on my JTE icon, the gun started smoking, and when I try to turn it on, it won't. What can I do to fix this, and where can I get it ever to get fixed? If I can't fix the gun, what should I keep in mind? I'm 14, so I can't really get money. If you're gonna start smoking, that's not really a good idea. It, it's it's not smoking. If it's coming if it's coming out of the barrel and you're using CO2, it's, it's just the a CO2 condensation. Leaf, you know? It's not really smoking. It's just the condensation. It's kind of like when you shoot like a Titman, you have CO2, some constant all like some all the CO2. It's just, just the liquid. It's the air. So it may not be smoking. It may just be your tank. And that's completely normal. Your gun shouldn't be like legit smoking, like it's on fire. Because there's nothing really in it that'll make it smoke. Yeah. Um, as for when I try to turn it on, it won't. Change the battery. Change try to change, change, change the battery. Change um, the battery. Look at the board. If you bought it brand new, then take it back to the place that you bought it and say, Hey, bitch, you sold me a gun with a bad board. That's what you do. Uh, you call JT. Um, that kind of crap. Yeah. All right. Dear Evans. Dear Evans, should I get a Dangerous Power G5, a Zodan Z2, or a, Dan or a Die Rail Max? I'm coming from Titman Griffin. I would get the the Rail Max um, over all of those. I wouldn't really get the Zodan Z2. Not that bad of a gun, but I mean, it, Die is a way better company, so. Alright, Joseph1109. No soggy pizza rolls. <laughs> but you redeem yourself with the Panda Express. I know Panda Express is delicious. On a serious note, I love your channel, guys. You both really talented players. Both. Me and you. Where's Aw. Aw. Doug is out backpacking. He just sent me a Snapchat of him backpacking that whore. Um. Now, don't hate, but I'm an avid a uh, airsoft player and only played paintball once. But I'm curious, though, if you both started out with paintball and started with airsoft and then switched paintball, and why do you like paintball more? I can see myself really enjoying both. Keep up the great videos. Um. 
before paintball, I had a couple airsoft guns. It was just more to screw around in the backyard. Um, I never actually played airsoft with other people. Maybe with my friend Drew, we'd go in the background shoot each other. Yeah, I never really played pa like airsoft. But I had airsoft guns. I had BB guns. I did guns. have airsoft guns and BB guns. I so when I was younger, those. I played with them all the time. Then on my birthday, I got paintball. There's just something I like more about paintball. Um, it's more fun. I don't know. It's just an opinion. We like uh, paintball more, but airsoft. That's I started out with a bunch of airsoft guns before paintball. So also I had a BB gun. Um, so. Young blue. All right, thanks guys. But okay, mini GS or E Tech Four. I D K. You get to which one? I would probably get the E Tech Four. The mini GS is still a mini. It's still small. I mean, they just improved everything. That sucked about the Mini, but if you have the money for the E-Tech 4, then I don't see why you just get the Axe, because the Axe is going to be better than the Mini GS. So honestly, just get the Mini GS. Where are you going? Selfie? Gotta take that, send that to Doug. <laughs> Alright, what's next? Taking selfies and sending them to Doug. Alright, um... M... No. No. Jackson and Diamond. Bob Long G6R versus an active dev clone V2 or yeah, GTI? I, I'd get the G6R. Yeah. Stick with that G6R. But I mean, one guy, Cody, did say the GTI overall. I mean, I'm not a big Mac dev guy, to be honest. I don't really like the GTI as much compared to the competitors in its price range. Alright. Um, <sighs> Team Blitz. I have a lot of old guns I want to sell. How do I sell them? Take a lot. I made a. I also made a video on how to sell your used gear. Go watch that video. But uh, it's very, very helpful. It's loaded with tips on yeah. how to sell all your shit. Go watch that video, especially. But just use PB Nation, and see what people do wrong that you don't like as a buyer, as a potential buyer, and then see what people do right when they're trying to sell stuff. So you know what you not to do, and you know what to do when you're selling. All right, oh, uh, that could have been bad. Team Blitz also asked. Uh, is this a good setup? Die Force, Empire Axe, 68 Metal Tank, and yeah, get a carbon two. fiber. Yeah, get if uh, if you want best, get a carbon fiber. But yeah, so it's a good setup. Yeah. Um, Deranged Donut, 13, what is 123. The best fitting mask for a thin faced person. Die, Die Force. Force. I mean, we all of us we're pretty thin. We're pretty small. You know, I only weigh 130 pounds. And I use Die Force. Practically everyone. If you're small. Die Force are great. One person on our whole entire team uses Die Force. So. Um, Cody Riddell, what's the best mask to get under $120 and how much should I invest in knee pads and elbow pads if I'm a beginner? Um, uh, I think the i4, how much is that? With the die for us? Yeah. It can be like $100, a little bit more. $100. Not to see, like, we absolutely are biased to, towards I the i4s, but all i4s are them. great and you can get them for we, under 100 All of us use them and we don't have any problems um, with them. Slides? They're okay. <coughs> I don't like the slides. I hate the slides. I like the slides. I don't like the Those slides. Those are like a hundred. Terrible mask for the price. I do not like the slides. They're, they're big. They're fine. They're bulky. They fog. They're terrible. You can't hear out. I've never had one fog before. Yeah, yeah, you did. You had that one lens fog. That was the lens I bought though. The stock. But it's still fun. fogged. That's the new lens. That it's still fogged. Yeah, I know. It's but it fogged. Yeah, so it fogged. Not the stock one though. So they, so they fogged. They're. They're big, they're bulky, they don't breathe as well, the I-4s, their ears are thick, you can't hear shit out of them, they're, they're, they're garbage. They're fine. That's what he thinks, but they're they're garbage compared to I-4s, or even events. As you can tell, there's only one team in the whole entire PSP Pro division that uses Sly Profits, and even wants to get a sponsorship from Sly, because half of their stuff is not that good. Um, that's the Russians. How much should I invest in knee pads and L-pads from the beginner? Uh, Invest all the money that you can in it. Yeah. Get the top end knee pads and elbow pads. I didn't get any. I played for four years and didn't get knee pads until this year. Um, I wish I would have had it earlier. Uh, he also asked, "What do you guys think about the smart parts teardrop barrel? Oh, teardrop barrel. Uh, if you don't know what it is, what kind of shit is this? <laughs> Looks like deer shit. Um, if you don't know, do you know what that is? No, I have no. I've never heard of that barrel. Uh, let's just look it up real quick. Smart parts to drop. Look at it. $155. No, wait, never mind. Uh, $13. 
I read that wrong. Thirteen dollars. Yeah. Uh, I mean, for the price, for thirteen dollars, but it is a twelve inch. It is twelve inches. It's not that big. It goes on A five. Uh, if we're looking at her one, it's on sale for twenty four dollars. It's on sale 21. for thirteen dollars. Yeah, uh, it dropped twenty one dollars. So uh, yeah, ten out of ten would shoot balls through that. I mean, it's cheap, but it's not the best barrel on the market. Right. I would save your money and just get something else though. James Gaumann, die rotor or spire? You know, I really don't like the rotor that much. I do like the spire, but I don't like the price of the spire that much, but I do like the spire. Uh, I shot a die rotor at the last tournament that we did. Whatever. Um, you know, you can't really go wrong getting either one of them, to be honest with you. MG21, what's your favorite color? Blue. Uh, MG21 yes, paintball. Portal Rail maxed or sealed to get the E... Tech. If you're gonna get the Proto Rail Max, you might as well just get the Proto Rail if you're yeah. gonna save up for the E Tech 4. Way better. Yeah. If you have money for the E Tech, just get the Proto Rail. Uh, Ajax Paintball. New Axe versus used Geo 3 or 2.1 for 6 You know, though. get the Geo. Used is better. If you can find it, if you can find it in good condition and that kind of stuff. I found mine. Or how much does the axe cost? It costs um like four fifty yeah. or something. If you can honestly find a Geo three for, like you know, I was thinking about. I almost bought one for six hundred, but it was just the wrong color. But, That's a great price. So yeah, fine. yeah, because it's still top of the end gun. Just because you know it's used and a little bit, you know, it's not the three point one. It's not the newest shit that they came out with. Doesn't mean that it's not good anymore. It's still gonna shoot amazing. All right, take it. Ah, uh, loose. Uh, I don't even know that last name. The ultimate, sure. the ultimate question, Mac or PC, spool or pop it? Okay, Mac or PC, fuck Mac. I'm a PC guy. <laughs> I don't like Apple. iPhones are garbage. Macs, they, they make decent computers. Um, but honestly, you can't really do much with them. You can't play games on them. Nick says graphic designers use them all the time and engineers. Not really. All the movie producers and all like the special effects people... A lot of them use PCs and a lot of Samsung technology, a lot of Windows technology. I don't really like Macs that much. They're all fucked up and everything. But, but if you use it, I mean, it's good for a work computer. They're very, very simple. They're very, I mean, they're not simple, but they're simple once you get to use it. And Spool or Poppets, I like Spools. And I like Poppets, so. Um, we both like PCs. Yeah. Good mass, price range 150 Well, save that, save about $50 you get iForge. Yeah, get get some nice i to be honest with you. We all shoot i Um, I, Clowny HD. What would be a better hopper, a rotor or a Pinocchio? People seem to love the rotor, but I have both. I'm not sure which one I should use. For some reason, the Pinocchio barely fits on my 2014 reflux rail. That's, That's hard weird. to put on. You have to take the feed neck and un... You have to... Yeah, you probably have your bit. feed neck a little bit tight. Um, I've used a Pinocchio. I like it. I use my rotor and I like it. Um, Pinocchio's a lot bigger. So if you want more, hold more paint. Unless um, if you get the Pinocchio Speed. Yeah, the Pinocchio Speed smaller. I do like the Pinocchio Speed. It's just kind of ugly. You, my review's coming out on it soon. It's the same exact thing as the normal Pinocchio, just really small. So. And ugly. Yeah. Uh, all right, Trey Woods, what's the best budget ball or paintballs? You know, there's not really such a thing. You're going to pay for what you get. If you pay $30, you're going to get shitty paint. Don't know what to tell you. Um, all right, take Brennan. Brennan Canode. What do you guys think about the Notchberg VL grip frame for the X? No clue. V I actually haven't heard of that. And I just think that the grip frame for the normal X is perfectly fine. It's not a uh, E-Tech frame. Miguel Flores. How do you put up glasses? Hey, I have glasses. You just put your glasses on. I put my glasses on, fit it over. Usually when you take it off, though, they rip your glasses off. Um, sometimes I put my glasses, sometimes I just put my contacts in, so. What car would you guys prefer? A 2004 Evo. Subaru or a WRX SI? I like, you know, the, the Subaru is amazing, but I do like, I do like, uh, Lancers. I do like, um, the Evos way more. It's not a question. There's two of them, you gotta pick. What car do you guys prefer? Oh, okay. I didn't even I, I like the Evo. Jacob wouldn't know. Nick might pick the Subaru. I don't know what Nick would pick, but he... Something tells me he would go with the Subaru, but for me, I do like Evos. That's just me. I mean, they're pretty fucking amazing, to be honest with right. you. Iowa Paintball. Vios versus KLRs versus E-Flex. You know, I've heard the KLRs are kind of eh, eh, eh. 
you know the Fios. I we were gonna do a giveaway, but we're probably gonna do a mini chest now. So maybe we'll spoil it. Spoil. But the Vios again. I was kind of like meh about. I do like my die eye for way more. And the E flexes. I do like the E flexes. Uh, I like. I do like the E flexes a lot actually. If there was gonna be another mass that I would get. Other than the JT Pro Flexes, it would be the E Flexes because I do like the whole, um, the fuck what the events frame with the E Flex uh, bottom and everything. So, all right, um, pair the 808. What should I do first? Upgrade my tank to a 6845 or Get upgrade your mask. my mask? Your mask ain't your your tank ain't gonna do shit if you can't see out on the field. Yeah. You always want to go for your mask first. Your mask is like the most important. It is the most important thing. Is what's going to save your life. Don't cheap out on a mask. Your eyes. So, uh, get the mask. Max Gator 018. What are your thoughts on the Mini GS? It's all right. I mean, they fixed everything that I hated about it, other than the barrel. But we haven't held it though. But it seems like they fixed a lot of stuff. Uh, we're gonna hold it soon when our buddy Chris comes out with his. He got like number 18, so it doesn't really matter. Um. Call he said line. that he had problems out of the box with his mini, but whatever. Is it a good deal for the? Is it a good deal for an E-Tech three with a cure bolt three for? Three reds barrels for oh. for three twenty. You know, not really, because here's the thing. I saw this really limited edition. Well, it was a custom anodized um, E-Tech. It had it had a boom stick to come with it, and it had the, a boost kit with it. It had the full boost kit. Anodized matched, but the boomstick back, obviously. And it had a bunch of bolts. It had the tech bolt. It had yeah. It had the hush bolt. It had all kinds of different stuff to go with it. it had like three different triggers. It had uh, an OLED board. It had basically everything that you could possibly do to upgrade it. It had a pops ASA, and it was only three hundred and fifty dollars. So I've seen way better deals out there for E techs for E tech threes. If you look hard enough. You can find a really good deal on a used E-Tech 3 because the thing is, people took those guns and tried to make them like an Ego, an Ego, um, an Ego 10, an Ego 11 at the time, so. Alright, um, what is the worst, Jared Judd, what is, what is the worst paintball gun and what is the worst paint? And what is the best place to buy paint other than your local Fielder Pro Shop? Other than your local Fielder Pro Shop, I would... I don't really know. I don't buy paint other than the local Fielder Pro Shop, so I can't really tell you. Maybe I would order it, but... Yeah, you might be able to order it directly from the factory. That would be the best way to do it, other than going through a third-party supplier. Um, worst gun and worst... You know, worst gun... There's some pretty shitty guns out there, but the worst paint... Uh, monster balls, for sure. Monsters are... Terrible, and they will kill you. The monster, it's on my bed. I think he wants to jump down. Okay, Monsters jump down. are terrible paint, and monster balls. They could kill you, um, but they hurt because they don't break ever. Worst gun, um, I'm not sure. I, I'd have to take some time thinking about that one because there are crap guns out there. Uh, where are we? Okay, a Johnny Goldman. Jake, I just got the E-Tech 4 a couple months ago, and it shoots great, but it feels like it could be better, and it seems like a little load. It seems like a little load. What should I get? A new bolt, or a CP barrel, or a, what does it say, stuffy carbon fiber barrel? Yes, this is specified towards Jake. Um... You know, I really don't like the CP barrels that much, to be honest with you. Jake, I just got an e tick for a couple months ago, and it shoots great. I feel like. You know, a new bolt, I wouldn't really go with a new bolt, to be honest with you, because, I mean, the gun's going to be loud no matter what. I'm going to be completely honest with you. If you're going to get a barrel, get a carbon fiber boomstick, or get, um... I heard the Stella barrels are good, the new Stella barrels. Those are pretty quiet. Got to see one and hold one today. Uh, I mean, to be honest, no matter what, that gun's going to be loud, to be honest with you. No, that gun will ha it will be loud as long as you own it. It's it's an E-Tech, honestly. No matter what, that's, it, that's just the way it's going to be. That's the gun that you bought. Sorry. Can't really help you out, but I don't really like the CP barrels as much. 
and a new bolt and that's if you're going straight through planet eclipse I wouldn't really get the tech bolts or anything like that go watch the review on the e-tech because you know planet eclipse has put a lot of time designing other bolts so you can the cool pozos can we show you how you hold your tank okay so you hold, hold like your this. gun and tank yeah, so like I put my hopper so it's like directly aligned with my head. So if I get hit in my hopper, I would have got hit in my head. And I put my tank right here on my shoulder. And I just take it and put it at a little angle. Now if I'm in a Dorito, I angle it with the Dorito. So sometimes it's a little bit more. Sometimes it's angle a little bit more, but it kind of really depends. But normally I have the, I take it, I tilt it a little bit so the hopper is straight aligned with my head. So if I get domed on that hopper. Do I look like a Terminator? <laughs> Uh, Darian. Yeah, it, hard hearts. I don't heart, even know. Hard man. Uh, favorite pro team and player and why? Uh, Tampa Bay Damage. I like Tampa Bay Damage because they've been really. Yeah, I I just like them. I like their team. I like their character. I just I don't know. I I like them. They're just my team. I like watching them. They're enjoyable to watch. They're they play a different game each day. Sometimes you know, they're they're good at stalling layouts. They're smart, and they're just a really good team. Yeah. Team Echo, where do y'all play, and what tournaments do you play? We play at all Lola fields except East, which is West and indoor, and we play at the local tournaments there. Yeah. Um, die I fours with James Martin or V four Grills. Um. They're both really cool mass. If I didn't get I fours, I probably would have got yeah, the grills. I probably might have got the so, grills. I do like the grills. I do. Re I, we like both of them. So, what's your opinion? Which one you like? We have the I fours. You have a bigger face. Get the I fours. But if I do get another mask, it's probably gonna be V grill. I, I probably won't get another mask. Uh, James Martin, Axe or E Tech Fork? Go for the Axe. Much better. Dad Axe. Peter Schluter, you're back. Have you ever shot the Defender? No, unfortunately not. No, but it I'm, looks the design looks pretty cool. But I'm cool guessing it. it's gonna shoot sort of like an Empire Vanquish. Not gonna lie, and the Vanquish was kind of meh. I right, take that one. The Joey and Dre or and whatever. When are you guys going to put up footage from you playing in Scottsdale? Oh, we already did. We already put some up. Matt Davis, you got swag. Of course, I got lots of swag. Tying on Bayless will be a good pump gun. Depends upon your budget. Put if you want a budget. cheap one, get a Tracer or a Hammer 7. If you want a nice, good, fancy Phantom. 300 one, get a Phantom. Get a Phantom, or you can, if you're really into that, auto cocker pumps. You get can a Sniper. Go get a, no, not a Sniper. Snipers are garbage. Go for more like a CCMs. Great, great gun. But if you want a garbage gun, get the Sniper. Yeah. Garbage for the price. Uh, Willis Correct. New axe plus 6845 tank plus proto pro reflex. Oh, I don't get the question. He's just saying all that or G6R. New axe plus 6845 tank plus pro flex or G6R. Um, probably the new axe 6845 and the pro and flex. All that is about the amount of the G6R. So yeah. You'd have to spend more to get that just, if it's just, just the G6R. The axe. Uh, Venom, yeah, Venom's more. lemon. Uh, what GoPro do you guys? Hey, we don't use we a GoPro. We use GoPro. We Get use a, a Replay XD. Hashtag Replay for like the 1080s. Replay in HD. Sponsorship. Um. Logan Cardwell, should I get a DM14 or Bob Long G6R? Uh, do you want a puppet or a yeah, spool? I'd get the DM13 or DM12 before I got the DM14. Just saying. Yeah, they're pretty much the same thing. Zombie Nation G4 or Invert Mini. Uh, I did a video on that, and there's a lot in that video, so go watch that video, but I do like the G4 a little bit more, but that's me, but go watch that video, it'll help you narrow it down. Colin Jones, how do you guys feel about the Diet Elk pads? Uh, you know, they're great pads, I've only heard amazing things about them, they're comfy, they're soft where they need to be, and hard where they need to be, so I and don't use them. And Jacob, with a K, uh, what are your thoughts about the Pinocchio Speed versus Die Rotor? What should I get if I shoot the cheap paint? If you shoot the cheap paint, get the Pinocchio, because the, sure. the rotor won't feed cheap paint. I mean, it will, but it will struggle. It'll, it'll struggle with it. it. It will feed it, but, you know, it'll struggle with it. So, if you're going to shoot crap paint, or cheap paint, go with the Pinocchio. If you're shooting, you know, average paint, i Decent I'd $50 die. good paint that's rotor. not sun-baked, get that rotor. But... I mean, if you don't have the money either for the rotor, get the Pinocchio. 
Gonzo the Hero. Where do you guys play at? I live in St. Joseph area by Grand Rapids. We play at Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf Indoor and Lone Wolf West and sometimes Crew every now and then if we really feeling frisky. Alright. James. James Perez. What do you think is a better upgrade? Empire Axe or MechDev Clone DX? I do like the Empire Axe more. Nicholas Rays. Is getting paid $50 a week good? Depends how old you are. I mean... It depends upon how many hours that is. If you're yeah. doing 24 hours of work, no, that's pretty shitty. But um, depends. Yeah, if you're if you're like it depends 14 upon your hours and your yeah. hours. If you're 14, you're getting 50 dollars a week. That's pretty good. Yeah, um, it just depends upon your hours. Uh, Nicholas Reyes is getting paid 50 dollars a week. Oh wait, we just answered that. Daniel Sanchez. Sanchez. Empire Axe or E Tech Four LT both for 300 dollars. Also. And also, Freak or Die Ultralight, I do like the Ultralights more. And I made a video on the Empire X versus E-Tech 4 versus the Rail versus the Crossover versus the FX. And I like the Axe more than the E-Tech 4. So that's all the comments that we get that we have right now. We just got through all of the comments, all 69 of them. Pretty, pretty fast, too. Yeah. So uh, get your comments in. Thanks for watching, and um, hope you guys enjoyed. Ooh.